Hey guys, I want you to meet Luis Amagliani. He was a client in the Tour Proven Pathway program. He's made an awesome transformation, which I want to highlight. Um, he's a dad, has a big family, um, works hard, doesn't have a lot of free time, but he'll get into that. And he's made a really cool transformation. So Luis, let's talk about your transformation. What were you struggling with before you started the Tour Proven Pathway program? So I'm, I'm, I'm an amateur golfer, picked up golf about 10 years ago, not something that uh, I grew up playing as a kid, but uh, wanted to, you know, uh, basically in college started playing. And my uh, biggest misses was it was a was a slice, I got a push, you know, a push cut, push slice. Um, and then it also, I come out, you know, when, when I fix, you know, when I try to overcorrect that, I do have some, some pull hooks. So I, admit, I would miss balls both ways. And it's, um, you know, that's uh, that, you know, when you get on the golf course and you do that and, you know, it consistently can get frustrating. While golf is a fun game to play, it's, uh, it can be very difficult and frustrating sometimes if, uh, if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask you. And so you had those misses, but you had no clear answers to why or how to fix it. Sure. And, and so what would you say were some of the initial things that were helping you in the program, getting you started in the right direction? So uh, we, uh, Andrew took things back to, to, to step one. We, we, we worked on the setup, the takeaway, the backswing, the turn. I mean, he broke everything down to the very, very beginning um, to make things, uh, you know, make sure the foundation was solid uh, before building on the swing. Um, and so he didn't skip steps. We didn't, you know, it's not something, uh, while you get quick results, you don't just skip the, the, the base that you put down. Um, you start and lay a solid foundation and then you grow and build off of that. Yeah. And that solid foundation you're talking about is like, I'm always putting the precedent of solid contact first. And so whatever we have to do to break that down, to accomplish that, that's very important to me because hitting the ball solid on repeat is fun for golfers. Um, so what was the biggest accomplishment and breakthrough you achieved while in the Tour Proven Pathway program? So before we started, I don't think I ever I can't remember one time where I actually hit a push draw, not a single time. Um, so when I was able to uh, consistently do that, and when I didn't do that, know what I was doing wrong and be able to fix it and correct it and do it the next time, that was a major breakthrough for me. Um, so uh, by no means am I, uh, you know, a perfect golfer or anything, and I don't, I don't, I don't hit every shot great. But at the same time. Um, like we mentioned earlier, getting out on the golf course and or being at the range and hitting a ball and being like, I don't know, like, why did the ball do that? I've got no idea what happened there. Like, I thought I was doing it right. Um, and then continuing to do that over and over again doesn't help you, doesn't help anybody. And so when working with Andrew, as we're able to correct uh, my mistakes and also teach me where the mistakes are and how to fix them, that was uh, that was a really cool cool moment to sort of break through and figure that out. And it's you know you're constantly learning, constantly growing, but to have the foundation of that and being able to do that is, is really awesome. Yeah, I mean, you go from this position of feeling lost and frustrated because you hit the miss, but you don't know why, so you don't know how to fix it. That's not fun. You lose confidence, and now you're in a position where you're an educated golfer that knows how to make those on course adjustments to hit the push draw on the next shot. Mm -hmm. Um, so why did you almost not join the program? The, um, well, so I started the program last fall. And to be honest, you're going into the winter and you're like, well, how often am I really going to play golf or how often am I really going to practice in the winter? Well, to be honest, that was the perfect time for me to do it because um, while you weren't playing tons of rounds, you had, you know, time to practice. And so um, the timing of it for me, actually, when I thought it was uh, a negative, it actually ended up being a positive because it forced me to work on my swing and practice more um, just because there weren't as many opportunities to play. No, that's like my favorite answer ever because I tell people all the time, signing up with me to work with me in the program in the winter months is actually a really big opportunity because you're not stealing or competing with time of play. And so now you can really just lock in and make that transformation. So then when it's time to go play, you have a whole new golf swing. Right. Exactly. What would you say to someone who is on the fence thinking about joining this program, but still having doubts, worries, fears about making the investment? So a uh, couple things. First of all, like Andrew mentioned before, 
I've got three, you know, I've got a family, three young kids, um, and time for me is really important. I want to be able to spend time with them, but also, you know, have some time and have some hobbies and activities that I can be myself. And I don't have, you know, an hour and a half twice a week to go to the range from, you know, three to 4.30 to practice, to, to go practice. But I do have time at, you know, eight o'clock at night when it's on my time. And so I can send Andrew uh, videos at eight o'clock at night. And, you know, a lot of times he responds back that night. He will, you know, at you know he'll, he'll respond at crazy times before. And sometimes <laughs> the next morning, um, but you get the feedback. It's uh, of in, in a good practice session um, on your own time. Um, so that is, uh, you know, one of the main things. And, and also some people say, hey, I'd rather have um, in-person instructions than online. And at first I was kind of like that, but now I can't imagine having in-person instructions because you go for an hour or an hour and a half and you make the changes and the guy, you know, and the instructor standing right there, but then you may not go for a week or two and you revert back to your old, your old swing. And so with Andrew and doing it online, I'm able to send a video. Sometimes, you know, hey, I had a terrible practice session. Here's my video of my swing. What do I need to work on? And I don't have to wait six days for him to, you know, to go back to the to the coach and get the feedback. And so either if, if you know, if I were to have in-person instructions, either I don't hit balls for six days, which is not ideal, or I practice the wrong thing for six days, or just hope I somehow get it right. When in reality, you can fix it and change it and get better. Um, faster working with Andrew in the online model. No, you make a good point. I mean, I talk about all the time, like, look, that was the world I lived in for 13 years. Uh, when you're doing lessons in person, you're there's a lesson, there's a gap of communication, and then there's a lesson. And the gap is where you need to be getting better and you need that information. And so what I've done is created a model to where we close the gap. The gaps are really small. It's basically every day. <laughs> so you hit balls today, you're gonna have an answer by tomorrow. And you have really benefited from that. You're a guy that came into the program, we're hitting push fades, push cuts, and you just never could really get that dream ball flight of a push draw. Now you hit push draws with solid contact on repeat. Every once in a while, you'll hit that old ball flight, but guess what? You're empowered. You know how to fix it. And that's a fun way to play. And you did this all usually after dark um, in your driveway, hitting balls into a net while your kids were, put, you just put your kids down. I think that's so, um telling of you know you're a family guy first and you had the excuse of i don't know if i really have time and you proved us wrong yeah i mean that's the coolest thing it, the yeah you, do, you don't have to have a range and go to a range all the time to be able to get better that's a myth you can get better in your, by put up a net if you have a launch monitor great but you don't have to have one um and and you can you just have to put in the time that's what you have to you have to commit the time and the energy to do it and if you do that you will get better like how much better is it going to be? You know, it's it's you know, a lot of varying factors. There. But you will get better no matter what if you put in the time and you put in the effort and you and, and, and you and you follow the plan. I can't thank you enough for your time. Your story and transformation is inspirational, and uh, I look forward to talking to you in the future. I know we'll be talking soon. Okay, thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. My pleasure.